It's day 22. Day I think 22. I could be very, very wrong. I've lost track. But welcome to Vlogmas Day. 22. I'll put it on the screen if I'm wrong. But today, I should have vlogged earlier, but I had a little photo shoot this morning. I got pictures with Sammy for our birthday. I'm with, I'm with Dane now. Where are we? And we're walking. Well, we're in Atlanta because we're going to the High Art Museum. Where's the you entrance? Oh, wait, I took pictures here one time. You told me you've been here. Did I have been here. Over? Okay, no, I know this is right. So I took pictures there. Last time I was here was right before COVID in January 20th, 2020. Yeah, 2020. Come on, ding, ding. But he's never been before and he's so excited to go. And we're coming here because I have to, like, I'm in an art class and um, this is one of the things that they asked me to do. It's one of my final projects is to go to an art museum. So that's what we're doing today and Dane's really excited. He's gonna look at every piece for like 10 minutes. Yeah, I really am. <laughs> I've never been here before. All right, let's go. Thirteen fifty-six. Like, oh my gosh, artwork is so old. So we're currently in the European, like the European section. What you think? <laughs> no, I do. Oh, I like that one. That one's cool. Hello. Hello. <laughs> He's loving this. Fourth of July parade. I love the frame. The frame is so cool. I'm starting to think that all these frames are just like frames from the museum. I don't think they're original frames. Oh yeah, no. Not, no way all of these are in the same like gold yeah, frame, you know? I Ooh, them. look, this is all marble. Someone touched it. <laughs> what is that? Oh, the spray tan. It's got a little spray tan going. Glitter and velvet on campus. Flash neon on linen. This is so cool. Say it want... to me. I want to see how audible it was for that when I said that. Oh, okay, wait. Where were you standing? <laughs> okay. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? You can't hear me? You could earlier. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. <laughs> Say, yeah, say hi to the vlog. <clears throat> Hello, oh, that's so weird. <laughs> that's really weird. Yeah. Can you hear me when I do it like that? Hello. It's really, really loud. Really, 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 really loud. Oh, it's really loud. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, you go. I want to see if I can pick it up on the vlog. So if he whispers to me, apparently I can hear it because of this piece of art. <laughs> that is so creepy. <laughs> can you hear me? It literally sounds like you're right in each other's ear. Dane. <laughs> That's really weird. 
There's like a thousand of There's like a what? There's like a thousand of you on here. <laughs> we're on Peachtree Street. We just walked from the museum. And we're trying to find food. Look, this is where we are. Right here. Right here. Oh look, there's look. There's we? Moe's, Chick-fil-A, Rumi's Kitchen. Ooh, that place is good. The Starbucks. This is what we just passed. I think there's food all back there too. Pretty little tacos, Starbucks. Let's get a Zaddy's. Wait, what is that? What kind of food is that? Oh, I think it's sandwiches. sandwiches yeah. Saints and cast councils. It's gotta be expensive, but we saw it. Wait. We just walk back there. Wait, do you wanna walk? Do you wanna eat at Rumi's? What is that? It's yummy. Persian food. Yeah, we can, we it's can do so that. good. Sure. 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 It's kind of chilly. Well, actually, no, it's not that. It's not that bad. Yeah, let's walk back here. I like this little. Look at these little. Are you kidding me? Atlanta's really doing something cute by putting all these little decorations out. I love it. Sushi place. Oh, we're dedicated to our other one though. Looks good. Dane, why have we never been back here before? I don't think there's much besides like restaurants. It's so cute. There's probably bars out here. Wait, look at this little swing. That's so cute. You can get food and eat on it. This is adorable. I don't know. I don't know. We've never we've never been here before. I bet you can get up there. You want to try? Yeah, it's kind of like reminding me of Pont City. Serena's looks yummy too. Guys, can you tell I'm hungry? But no, I never. It's like a shopping. King Pops. It's Colony Square. Yeah. I've seen people post about this place. We, we, we gotta go up there. Oh, Chick-fil-A. That's a big Chick-fil-A too. Where do you want to eat? Uh, we can, we can look in here, but we can also, oh, it smells so good. Here. It does smell okay. yummy. Oh, thank you so much. <gasps> this is so cool. What the heck? Yeah, I want to do a little photo booth. Guys, look how cool this place is. I actually feel like I've seen this on TikTok somewhere, but I never even like, never looked to go. This is so cool. Are we gonna do this? Are we gonna do the photo booth? Yeah, I wonder how. Ooh. Oh. Okay, we'll abandon our current session. Okay, wait, that's a good camera. Are we going to sit? What do we, what do you want to do? We got to pick our photos before There's we go. There's nowhere to sit. We have three seconds. Okay. <laughs> you ready? Okay. Three, two, one. Whoa, did you blink? No, you did it. <laughs> the mustache. I can't with your mustache. So what do we do with this? I don't know. I don't think you can like buy it. Because I think, it, well, what is that? You want to take a silver one? Oh wait, look, you can look at past people. Oh wait, look, you can put it in like filters. <laughs> wait, look at this. Sepia, sepia. Look at that. A Warhol. Oh, we have an unlocked Warhol. Do we have to take more pictures? Nope. Wait, so you can, can you not buy them? <laughs> I think you can. You ready? It is like really, really focused. You ready? Like the lens are so good on that. I don't know. Three, two, one. <laughs> Ew, you licked my hair. Oh. Oh, we missed it. <laughs> we have to hold the pose until the flash. All right, you ready? Three, two, one. <laughs> that was cute. This bar is so cute. It's like Christmas themed. It's called Establish. I love it. Guys, look, there's a literal igloo at the top of this restaurant. We have to go up there before we leave. I think we have to go in a different way though. Okay, let's go. Yeah, I'm excited. Yeah. Wait, we have to go. We're going here to eat, right? The inside the house. This is too cute. Look at that. Look at that. A cashless bar. Okay, cool. Mmm, yummy. It smells good in here. We got some truffle fries, my favorite, and then wings and some that that macaroni looks so good. And then I got some chardonnay, and he got what did you get? A Manhattan. A Manhattan. Yeah. Look at the views, so pretty. 
Chick-fil-A right there. So we ended up going with this little Christmas themed restaurant. It's so cute. Oh, we're crossing the street. Wait, is this it, Dane? Oh my gosh. Yeah, like Time is my middle name. Oh my gosh. Hi. How are you doing? Good, how are you? Good. Hi guys. What is up? So, the time that you're watching this in the video is going to be after I went to the museum. We'll just say that this is the morning before going to the museum. I hope you guys are enjoying Vlogmas Day 22 so far. The museum was so fun and I am going to plan to go back soon. I literally love that museum. Anyways, so for the rest of this video, I thought that I would do a fun little tutorial. I get kind of like, not a lot, but I do get some DMs and comments about how I curl my hair and I feel like I have for such a long time now. So I thought that I would show you guys exactly what I do and kind of like my little secret that I have to getting like the perfect wavy look. So let's go ahead and get into that. I'm excited. So first things first, I'm gonna show you guys. This one's like kind of old. I've had this for so long and it's just always been, like I think I bought it in like high school and I've used it ever since. Like hence the cord, the cord's like a mess, but it's my favorite. It's the brand Remington. I'm using my G7X today. She doesn't want to focus. But yeah, so that's the brand that I use for my curler. There's so many brands out there. Like, I could go on and make a long list. But I feel like I've asked people in the past, like, what curler do you use? You know, the curls are so pretty. Like, I want to know what you use. And it's always, like, such an expensive curler. I'm like, I'm not about to spend $70 to get pretty hair, like, curls. I don't know. Let me just tell you the price point on this hair curler. You guys are gonna be like, what? I guess this would be called a wand. Okay, so this exact one, I'll link it below. It's on Amazon, I'm seeing it right now. It is $24 on Amazon. And then I see one similar to it um, that's $19.99 at Target, and that one is 25. But this exact blue one that I have right here, $24 on Amazon. Like, and I love the way it does my hair. So, we're gonna plug it in real quick. Now, I did forget to mention this, um, so I should probably put this out there before popping into this. I just turned it on. The highest you can go is 410 degrees, and I always do. Um, okay, so putting this out there, I've curled my hair with that for years, but recently I have been loving this on Amazon. You guys are gonna think I'm crazy. But anyways, so this is only $10.99, I think, on Amazon right now. It might be like $12, but it's been my go-to recently put it in my hair. I'm just gonna like show you guys a quick, cause I'm not gonna do this. I'm actually gonna curl my hair. But okay, this is literally how I do it. <laughs> so I attach that side so it doesn't move. And then I start with like the smallest bit of hair up here. And I'm, I'm happy to show you guys this because I feel like I've like linked it before and people are like, I know what you use, but I don't know how to use it. So this is how you use it. So you can see that I wrapped it around and then I'll just come back through grab another piece and continue to wrap it and like you literally just continue to do the same thing and you just like grab a strand of hair every time it's kind of like french braiding like when you french braid and you grab a piece of hair every time except it's just like not <laughs> like you're just wrapping it around so yeah you do that all the way until you get to the very bottom and then once you get to the bottom of it let me take it out real quick and then once you get to the bottom of it your hair should just be like fully wrapped around it and there will be like some pieces sticking out like your ends are gonna be like uh. but they also send you two scrunchies in the kit and you just like wrap it around and I wish I like did my full head of hair right now but once it's like all the way around once you've done it on both sides and you have the scrunchies in, it may feel a little loose. So typically what I do is I take the ends and twist them away from my face and then tie it with another. I use another scrunchie and I tie it behind like the two pieces put together like this kind of. So I'll tie it like this with another scrunchie and put it up. I like clip it up and I literally just sleep in it. And for me, it always does its best after I wash my hair and blow dry it and then sleep in it. 
that's when I always get the prettiest curls. So yeah, just want to put that out there in case you are not someone that is like interested in using heat on your hair. Definitely try this. Again, this was only like $10, $12 on Amazon and obviously my curler is a little more expensive. It's $24. So yeah, we'll link this below as well though. It's like my favorite. It's so awesome. I'm probably going to use it tonight. But for now, we're just going to curl my hair and here's how I do it. I'm going to do it in two sections. So I'm going to brush through my hair. I totally just like went through my hair, but you're supposed to start like from the bottom and go up. But yeah, so then I take one side. I'll just kind of like twist it. Nothing special. However you want to just pin it up, it's what I do. That's literally what I do with it. And then if I'm focusing on this side, get a little strand. I, I mean, I personally am someone that I feel like you can do thick pieces and thin pieces. Like to me, I don't think it matters. If you do more thin pieces, it's going to be like ringlets until you brush them out and then use my secret trick. But you can do like thicker pieces and that'll make it more wavy. You just need to hold them on the straight on the curler for a little longer. So this is how I do it. I do it kind of like face down and then I just like wrap it around. So I'm wrapping it towards my face and then wait a minute, wait for it to just like heat up. And then I'm going to show you guys what I'm about to do whenever I take it out or take it off with the curler. So I go like this. I turn it up. I put my hand underneath the black part and let go. And I kind of like hold it there for a minute. And then I let it go. It looks like that. It literally looks like a ringlet. But my secret that I have that I, that I actually learned from Sammy is using a straightener after. And you guys are going to be like, what? A straightener after you literally just curled your hair? But this is also by the brand Remington. I think that this was probably like 24 probably the same. I'm sure it's the same price, but let me fact check it. Okay, so this one's like $30 on Amazon. There's one that's similar to this one, and it's $19 at Target. But I got both mine at Target, so. Um, anyway, so turn this on. Let that heat up. While that's heating up, I'm going to go ahead and do another piece right here. Same thing here, drop it and then let it go and it looks like that. It's kind of crazy how it looks after it comes off of the curler and then how it looks when I'm done with my hair. It's like a completely different look. Okay, so after the curl's done, I take my straightener and I go back and I straighten the ends. I know it looks weird for right now, but just hear me out. And then also like finger brushing, it helps a lot. Sammy likes to full on brush her hair when she does it, but I like to finger brush it. Now I'm just going to do my full head of hair and then I'll show you guys at the end. I'm back and the lighting is kind of awful because it's gotten dark outside, but here we are. Okay. So, I just finished curling my hair. I went through this side with my, like I finger brushed it a little bit, but I haven't touched this side. So, I'm gonna finger brush it really quick. Just kind of like go through it. I feel like finger brushing it makes it like a lot more, I don't know what the word would be, but I feel like I like it a lot better than like putting a brush through it. At least like curl wise. Then I'm gonna take my straightener and go through. Keep in mind, I'm literally doing this on my camera, so I feel like I can't really see as well. Now, are, if there's some pieces that are a little more curlier than I want them to be, I will just like run through it with the curler like that. difference with that side how like wavy it is versus this side this one's like a lot more curly over here that's my secret though hello is running the straightener through it at the end I feel like it just does so much and it gives me the perfect curl that I'm like actually looking for it's more of a wave but that's what I want to go for because I don't want I personally don't want ringlets or like super curly curly hair all right but that's kind of like what it looks like after 
That's literally how I curl my hair. And then typically I'll use like a texturizing spray before and after, but I don't have one right now. The one that I like absolutely love is the one by Orb. It is like a black and gold bottle. I'll put a picture of it on the screen. It is so good. It smells amazing. And it's exactly what my ladies at the Salty Main do for my hair when they when I get my hair done. They spray it in my hair and I'm like, oh my gosh, what is that? I love the smell of it. So they always put that in my hair. And then I also like the dry shampoo by Orb. It's the, it looks like the same product. It's just, it's in the same bottle. It's a different product though. But yeah, the texturizing spray and the dry shampoo both by orb black and gold bottle so good heat protectant i should have put on heat protectant before this i didn't i'm pretty sure there's one by orb as well that they use on me and if it's not orb it's oh gosh what's the other brand there's another brand hold on let me look it up kevin murphy that's the name that took too long to find it kevin murphy is the name of the shampoo and conditioner it's the blue bottles so yeah it's like the B repair me wash and then the leave-in conditioner and i think it's like a two you can do it's like the shampoo and conditioner but i love those and then i also like oh gosh which one did i use i used it for so long i got the two big bottles for christmas last year because it is a very expensive brand redken is the brand so I got the Redken shampoo and conditioner, like the really tall bottles for Christmas last year. And I think each bottle was 40. So it was like 80 bucks for shampoo and conditioner, which is absolutely absurd, but taking care of your skin and your hair is like so important. So I would do it. The one that I loved and used was the red bottle. That was the Frizz Dismiss. I'll put a picture of it on the screen. But um, yeah, it's expensive. It's it's pretty expensive. I'm pretty sure they have like the smaller bottles, which are like 20, 25-ish. So that would be like 40, uh, something like that. But yeah, like the big bottles are like 45. It's like kind of crazy. But I do think it's worth it because I love the, not only the way it smells, but the way it makes my hair feel it's just oh, amazing so yeah orb has a heat protectant it's the invisible defense protection spray and it looks to be 70 dollars at sephora and then on their website it's 45 amazon it's 45 so i guess going to like amazon or the website would be the one to get it from but yeah i was like really into expensive hair care products like a year ago and i would spend the money on the shampoo and conditioner like the 80 dollars 90 dollars every few months for the shampoo and conditioner i do think it lasts a long time because such it's such a concentrated shampoo and conditioner that you don't have to use a lot like a little bit goes a long way i'm not a hairstylist so i could be like not talking the right terms or like have no idea what i'm talking about but this is just like what i've learned since i've started getting into like hair and makeup and then since i started going and getting my hair done but yeah so i got into it like a year ago and like put money and time and effort into getting and finding good products but it got so expensive and i stopped i was like this is like a lot it's a lot because you spend like the 80 dollars on the shampoo and conditioner and then you forget about the dry shampoo and the texturizing spray and the heat protectant and it, there's like a list that goes on and on and at that point you're like spending $300 for like six months of hair care which is like crazy sometimes and I don't know I just like did that for the longest time and then took a break from it but I need to get back on it because I want the best for my hair and I, everyone always asks me like what products do you use and I'm like maybe that helps because I use like expensive products for so long but like also I haven't used those expensive products in forever and my hair I feel like still looks pretty good and pretty healthy I don't try and put heat on it like I try not to use heat as less as possible that's why i got this thing off of amazon which works really really well you just have to be patient with it and it's not fun to sleep in but it does make your hair look good and you don't have to pay for like the damaged hair afterwards and then yeah i like get my hair cut every now and then like not like cut but like a little trim is good every now and then and then i also try and do leave-in conditioner mask a lot so that might be it but yeah that was like so random i just like went on a rampage about or a rant about hair care but that's how i curl my hair i hope that you guys enjoyed it and learned how i will link um the hair curler and the straightener below as well as some of the products that i mentioned that's it 
I love you guys. I hope that you guys enjoyed day 22. I can't believe Vlogmas is almost over. I say that in every video, but like truly, I can't believe it's almost over. I feel like I was just anticipating starting it and now it's like over. And 2023 sounds really weird, but it's coming and it's going to be here before we know it. So let's get amped up for that, I guess. Okay. Love you guys the most. I'll see you in tomorrow, which is day 23. Be sure to subscribe, follow my Instagram and TikTok and, um, Turn on post notifications too for YouTube because I'm going to get on the schedule for the new year. But yeah, love you guys the most and I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>